All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're trying a semi-new thing. I am going live on Instagram at the uh, same time that we are going live on YouTube and Facebook. We have a wonderful, wonderful new Stride feature release today, and we are so excited to talk about it. I am so pumped to go over some of the features. If you are watching live on YouTube or Facebook, please feel free to give the uh, stream a like, send any questions or comments you have, and uh, producers Gus and Kaylee will send them along. Thanks everybody for tuning in on Instagram as well. If you have uh, questions, you can feel free to drop them in the chat. They will probably go by very, very quickly. Um, so when we get to the uh, question and answer portion at the very end, you can uh, feel free to reiterate the questions there as well. Um, Due to the limitations of Instagram Live right now, I can't broadcast anything onto the screen. Uh, but if you are interested in seeing this presentation, you can go to the Stride YouTube channel as well, and we'll have all that content there. So, like I said, big fanfare today. Uh, a ton of a ton of cool news um, to talk about. Specifically, a new Stride feature release. Uh, we're going to get into some of the details, breaking down the features. I do want to say. Today starts uh, two weeks, two weeks straight of webinars. Every day for the next uh, two weeks, Monday through Friday, we are going to be going live on our Stride YouTube channel and our Stride Facebook page, as well as uh, Instagram Live. And we're going to be bringing uh, more and more information specifically about this brand new feature release. So what does the feature release entail? Well, one, we're going to talk about discovering the sweet spot in training. So. Uh, when we think of the term in running of sweet spots, we think of a time when running is effortless, when all things are clicking, when you just can't seem to do anything wrong. These are temporary, they're elusive, they're hard to come by, but the main goal of Stride is to help make sure that that sweet spot sticks around during your entire training block, and that's the goal that we're going for. Um, if you could accomplish anything, what would you accomplish if you could find and then stay in that sweet spot for months or even years at a time for training blocks, not just that one day where you feel great all of a sudden, but you hit everything exactly right on. Again, that is the goal of Stride and this brand new feature release. You'd painlessly finish after every training session and know that you're better off due to the fitness that you built during that training session. Your improvements would build on top of each other for years at a time without ever being set back by injury. You drop minutes off of your expected race time every single race. That's the goal of staying in the sweet spot. So what's new from Stride? Well, we're going to talk about some of the brand new features that uh, have just released this morning. Uh, first, the first thing we're going to talk about are personalized power-based training plans on stride.com slash power center or in your stride mobile app plus an intro to power plan to familiarize yourself with power training and to teach you how to set a accurate critical power that's the first part of this release you can import your own power-based training from Training Peaks, Final Surge, and Two Peak into the Stride ecosystem. So we're giving you the ability now to design your own training and import that power-based training into uh, the Stride ecosystem from your favorite training platform. It'll automatically import your daily workouts to your Garmin Connect IQ 3.0 and above watches, as well as the Apple Watch for guided power-based training live during your run. It'll step you through. It's a fantastic, fantastic experience. We have extensive post-run analysis on the Stride mobile app. So this is one of the coolest, coolest redesigns. I've been using this app for weeks, for months, and many different iterations, and it is such a, such a improvement. It is a, a, a massive, massive experience improvement. We have planned versus completed training comparison to show you, uh, you know, the differences. It makes it really fast and easy to see how well you stuck to your plan, but see the plan that you actually wrote for yourself or you use one of our training plans and see how well you stuck to that. It's a fantastic experience to review after your run. We have automated insights, and this is 
one of the coolest, coolest things that uh, is part of this release. It is amazing. Every single one of your activities based off your run tagging, you know, have automated insights for every single run. They vary based on the activity type. So you should really, really, really get out there and uh, tag your runs. It's so critical and so important to tag your runs to make sure that these insights are accurate and generated in every single different case uh, based, based on your running. Automated insights, again, for every, every one of your activities. There's a screenshot on the left of the screen if you're watching uh, live on YouTube or Facebook right now, but showing different types of insights based on the shoes you're wearing, the surface type you're running, how you rated that run in terms of feel. There's so many things that we're going to get into um, a little bit down the road and uh, late, later uh, next week to talk specifically a deep dive into these insights as well. Uh, new trend graphs. This is one of the coolest things just to visualize your different types of runs and how your runs are progressing. You can compare your trends for power, running stress score, distance, duration, pace, ground contact time, vertical oscillation, heart rate, leg spring stiffness. You can do all these, all these trend insights, which are super shareable, very, very informative as well. We have fitness trends not for just that singular run type, but for any sort of filter view that you put on and you want to see. So let's say you want to see your trend of runs that are between an hour and 75 minutes, and you want to also view maybe the power range between 250 and 300 watts. You can do that trend. You can put any trend up there and you can apply any filter and just uh, see that fitness trend over the last 90 days. And then again, see how your running compares and how you're progressing over similar types of runs. Personalized training plans. We're going to get into a little bit more of the specifics here, and we're going to talk about some of the uh, features on their own. So personalized training plans. The thing that I love about this is it's a super, super unique and fantastic sign up experience in the Stride mobile app. After you pick a plan, you'll receive daily workouts on your computer via Power Center and on your phone via the Stride mobile app. The, the uh, intensity is customized based on your Stride auto-calculated critical power. And so this means that no matter what training plan experience that you sign up for, it is going to be completely customized based on you. Uh, we have what I'm super excited about, the intro plan. This is something that we worked with a lot of striders. We got a lot of feedback on this. Uh, introductory plans are the perfect way to master the basics of stride. Uh, you not only learn how to follow a training plan over a two-week period, you learn all about stride and all about your own performance and your abilities during this two-week period. It, it also helps hone your critical power for the next step, which is going directly into a, another training plan and using that introduction to the whole stride ecosystem to better off your running and it gives you a great springboard into uh, another stage of the training training plans. We also have base training. So if your goal, like a lot of people right now, if you don't necessarily have a goal race, you want to maintain or slowly build your general running fitness before you pick your next race goal. We also have 5K, 10K, half marathon, and marathon plans. And so these are plans that are focused on power-based training so that you build the skills and fitness to succeed on race day. We also have third-party training plan imports, so you can connect with Training Peaks, Final Surge, and Two Peak, like I mentioned a little bit ago, uh, to import the training plan or your pre-existing plan into the Stride ecosystem. We want to give you the flexibility if you're not using one of our training plans to import the power-based training that you are accustomed to doing or a coach is assigning you. We want to give you that flexibility and give you that option to import it and have the same experience. So let's talk a little bit more about that experience. You can execute structured power-based workouts on your watch. For the first time, you can import a power-based workout into your Connect IQ 3.0 and above Garmin watches or your Apple watch using the Stride app. And then you can execute this workout on your watch. It's a great, great experience. It's super seamless, uh, fantastic experience during. Um, the couple points that we want to reiterate here and just really hammer down, training with power is so easy. It is so easy because your daily plan is automatically served to you on your watch. It's precise because you receive real-time guidance to stay in the right training zone during your training session. And it's also more comfortable. 
because you never overrun your power target or work your way into an overtraining zone. There is no guesswork when you are using this experience, using stride, training with power. It is easy, precise, and more comfortable. Power-based training on your sports watch provides the premier way of executing, again, precise structured training on your watch. And again, this is for Garmin Connect IQ 3.0 and above watches, as well as the uh, Stride Apple Watch app on your Apple Watch. We have a full list of compatible watches um, on our Stride support site if you are curious. And then uh, talking about another set of these features, extensive post-run analysis and insights. You can analyze your data after every run with our new tools on the Stride mobile app that enable you to go in depth with your data, whether it be on a single run or across the last 90 days. You can compare your training plan with post-workout breakdowns of how well you completed your planned training. You can add run details with tagging, which again, if I can reiterate any point at all, it's to tag your runs in the Stride mobile app because this insights feature opens up so many analytics about your personal run trends. You'll discover meaningful insights no matter what type of session you are running. And then again, I'm just gonna go through this list here. Personalized power-based training plans on Power Center and in the Stride mobile app. You can import your own power-based training plan from Training Peaks, Final Surge, and Two Peak into the Stride ecosystem. You can automatically then import your daily workouts to your Connect IQ 3.0 uh, and above Garmin watches and the Stride Apple Watch app for guided power-based training. And there's an extensive post-run analysis on the mobile app after the fact. Automated insights for every single one of your activities, no matter what type of session it is, we will give you an insight about that activity. There's also new trend graphs that plot out similar runs and help you understand the trends of your running. So talking about these, these features are available today and all Stride users are receiving free and full access to these new membership features until the first half of 2021. We're giving all of our users a preview to the uh, access for these new features as a thank you for your loyal support. And additionally, we think it's important for all Striders to have these features so that you can build training momentum heading into 2021. We've talked about um, ever since the beginning of our Stride for the Love of Running webinar series that uh, we're so excited for people to keep their training momentum and build that momentum as we head into uh, future racing seasons. The upcoming schedule, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, later today, um, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, so just in a couple hours, we're gonna do a full walkthrough of a pretty much day zero, just starting out with Stride, all the way um, going forward and signing up for a training plan, using the intro plan, uh, having a goal race in mind, we're gonna give you a full uh, experience there. Uh, on Wednesday, October 7th, we're gonna be talking about the watch experience. Then on Thursday, we'll talk about the training experience, and Friday is the post-run experience. Uh, the next week, we're gonna talk about intro to power, the full depth into insights, the analysis experience on that Wednesday, the trend experience on Thursday, and power duration on Friday. So if, our, if any of these are exciting to you, uh, please feel free to go subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can just go to YouTube and search Stride, uh, and you can subscribe to that channel. You can turn on the notifications there. You can also join our Stride community on Facebook. We'll be streaming there as well, and we'll be streaming on Instagram live to answer any of the questions that you might have as well. Um, so with that, uh, the, the thing we wanna say is enjoy. We are so, so excited about this feature release and we are so so excited to bring you all of these uh features um i'm going to take some of the questions now uh if anybody has been uh asking but first i want to talk about just kind of um how how we got here we have been working on this for a super long time and we really have been using practical training experiences to guide these features I have been waiting for this day for such a long time because it means we can finally talk about all of the super cool, super valuable, very useful um, features when it comes to signing up for a training plan in the Stride mobile app. You get a personalized and tailored uh, training plan based on the uh, sort of things that you you tell us you want to do. So let's say that you want to run a marathon three months from now, you can only run a certain number of days per week, a certain number of hours per week. You want your long run to be on Saturday. You want your 
um, different training considerations based on your schedule. We do that, and that is so, so exciting. Um, the other thing that we are super excited about is uh, the post-run experience. Um, the post-run experience, just being able to have more insight and more in-depth understanding into your, uh, your specific run is just an incredible, incredible uh, you know, value in the Stride mobile app. Using the Apple Watch app or using any of the Garmin Connect 3.0 and above watches provides you a great experience um, as, as well during uh, the, 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 the run. So um, any questions that you have, if you're watching on Instagram Live, please feel free to send them now. I will scroll back and see if I can answer any. Um, if you Press the little heart thing. I, I love seeing the, the little heart bombs uh, go up. It's 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 very, very fun to watch. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna scroll back a little bit here on Instagram Live and then producer uh, producers Gus and Kaylee, please feel free to send any of the questions along that people might have had. Um, let's see. Uh, answering any of these Instagrams. Uh, thanks for all the hard work, Stride team. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for all the all the hearts and all the waves. We do appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. So, may I use Stride for a rehab running workout after a bike accident, um, specifically uh, for for rehab? Um, Stride provides you a day-to-day -day power number that you can run to. So based on your current fitness, we give you a great, great uh, regimen and structure to stick to. So in terms of rehab running, um, I would always uh, refer to a uh, licensed medical professional um, for specific routines, but Stride is a great way once you have that routine to keep you on that routine and keep you um, stuck in uh, a good uh, training uh, experience. Um, is there any way that power data screen in the Garmin watch shows the planned power and training peaks and the instant power? So you can actually use the Stride workout app to customize a lot of these features. So um, like we mentioned, you can import any of the workouts that you have from training peaks. Um, you can also see uh, your workout and instant power if you customize your data screen in the Stride workout app. Um, let's see, we have a question here from Steve. What Stride features will remain free to Striders after mid-2021? So the, uh, the, the features specifically we're talking about, we're not taking anything away that you are using right now. We are adding to the experience, um, and then sometime later, mid-2021, um, we're going to institute the Stride membership, um, but we are specifically not taking anything away that you are used to using right now. So it is a great, great update. You can go download it now in the uh, App Store on iOS or the Play Store for Android. Um, and please feel free, yes, to update to the latest app. You can also visit stride.com slash power center to see the new um, functionality there as well. Um, I am waiting on other questions. And if anybody is watching live right now, please feel free to send the questions along. We would love to answer. Um, can we define our own training plan or must it be stride or third party? Uh, so right now we have a, a couple different options. So you can sign up again for the stride power based training plan specifically in the Stride mobile app, or you can import from Final Surge, Training Peaks, or Two Peak. You can define your own training plan in a platform like Final Surge, platform like Training Peaks, um, platform like Two Peak. Um, or if you are used to using a coach and they already give you that prescription, you can define power based plans there. Um, so you can absolutely define your own training plan and then import it into the Stride ecosystem. Uh, training plans, import workouts on Garmin watches also, yes. Uh, so Garmin Connect IQ 3.0 and above, um, you can import those uh, specific workouts and you can use the Stride workout app to specifically um, run those sessions on the Garmin Connect 3.0 and above. Let's see, any questions? Any other questions that we have here? Um, let's see, a uh, little bit of feedback here from DJ is, I should say that this update is amazing. This is exactly what I've been looking for and excited to try it out. I just finished a Paladino Power Project 10K plan. So 
Uh, open to start the next plan. Kudos to the team. Thank you so much. Uh, we really are looking forward to people using training plans for full training buildups and using the stride racing experience as well to guide them to success on race day. Um, Bart asked specific plans for trail running. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a great question. Right now we have um, specifically uh, plans set for again, like I mentioned, intro to knowing how to use power. Uh, we have a base phase, we have 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon. We look forward to adding to the experience in the future. I would say that there is a lot of great discussion if you are looking for specific plans on trail running, um, you go to the Stride community on Facebook. There is a, uh, a, a great, great dialogue and a lot of great people to answer questions specifically about how do you stride with trail running there. Um, next question here is, is the training experience on the watch similar to how it was with training peaks? Is there any plan to have audio cues on the watch? Um, specifically, uh, I, I would ask a follow up there is what watch experience are you talking about specifically? Um, but the, the training experience, we will have a full deep dive, uh, like, like I mentioned, into the watch experience uh, on Wednesday, so tomorrow. And then we'll talk about the full training experience on Thursday and the post run experience on Friday. Um, and then we'll have another full week of webinars after that. I would like to use stride with my watch and a power plan while running on the treadmill. Power doesn't work accurate on the treadmill except when recorded uh, with the stride app, is that right? So uh, when we talk about using the uh, stride app on your mobile phone, we're talking about uh, making sure um, that stride knows that you are indoors and we don't have any of that elevation noise that is coming from there. So we do recommend using the stride indoor mode in, this, in the uh, stride mobile app. Um, next question here is if I use a training peaks plan to stride sync with it or is a one off import. So if you have your training calendar and training peaks, you can connect that and it will uh, sync in the stride ecosystem. Um, let's see, Sean Buskin asked about, what about VDOT training plans? At this point right now, the training uh, platforms that we're supporting are going to be, again, Training Peaks, Final Surgeon 2 Peak, as well as the Stride uh, default um, plans in, in, in the mobile app. Um, Brian Humphrey says, when is Power Center being updated? I'm not seeing anything new on there yet, thanks. Um, you, if you're not seeing anything new and you have uh, already downloaded the new Stride mobile app, um, our customer service team is always uh, there to help support. If you email support at stride.com, um, we can definitely take a look at things if there are anything, uh, if there is anything uh, to take a look at, um, but specifically uh, Power Center is live and updated. Um, the Apple Watch, uh, training has it changed uh, based on what has already been existed um, so specifically if you hadn't used the the training peaks import you can now use final surge and two peak um, and you can uh, also use these stride plans uh, and you, you can run a lot lot more different uh, types of workouts on the apple watch specifically um, so that is a great question there um, so uh, we have a question here from the Instagram Live. Will the new post-run insights uh, work in the app if I'm using Stride with a Garmin? Yes, absolutely. So post-run insights, even if you uh, run with Stride in uh, the Stride mobile app, if you just use it on your phone, um, if you download the Stride-only data um, from the, the, the Stride uh, itself, if you don't use a watch at all, uh, you will still get insights if you tag uh, your activities and tagging again is so so important and it is very obvious um, to see the tagging specifically in the uh, stride mobile app in the new post run screen as well it'll have a little section that says insights and then uh, it'll encourage you to tag your runs if you don't already do that so yes great question um, you will absolutely still be able to see the new post run insights um, if you're using stride with a garmin um, Let's see, uh, so we have a comment here. Uh, lots to think about come mid 2021, juggling multiple subscriptions from different platforms, thinking of ditching the Training Peaks subscription and keeping free and going to stride. Free Training Peaks equals custom workouts. Um, so we're really excited, again, about the experience that we're unveiling today, but we're really excited to keep working uh, towards the future and improve upon the features even more. 
Um, next question here is from Seth, Seth Westfall. Hi, Seth. Uh, is it a new Garmin app that syncs with the runs from the Stride training plans or an update to the current Stride Garmin app? So you can download the new version of the uh, Stride workout app, the Stride app um, on the Connect IQ side. You can download that and we have a, a bunch of great instructions um, and, and walkthroughs on our uh, help site to help you set that up. Um, but it's a very intuitive uh, connection process there as well. Um, so we have a question here from Klaus. Recommendation where to start if you've used Stride for months, but not as in uh, using it for running guidance. You should start with the intro or one of the other programs. This is a fantastic question. And I would highly, highly encourage to turn to both the cameras that I'm talking to right now. If you have used Stride for any time, but you have not fully leaned into understanding the full ecosystem or understanding how to run with power and train with power and what different intensities look like at different power outputs, I would highly encourage using the Stride intro plan. It is a very short commitment. It's 14 days of running and it teaches you about different aspects of the Stride ecosystem. So you get a full walkthrough on how to best use Stride, but you also get a full walkthrough on different intensities, on how to use Stride to prepare for a race at the end of the uh, training plan. And then you have a springboard directly into another training plan with all of this information that you've gathered from using the Stride intro plan. So it is a fantastic experience. We had help from so many Stride users um, testing out the experience, testing out the flow, and we are so appreciative of that. But the Stride intro plan is not just for somebody who's brand new to training. It could be somebody, you, you could have been running with Stride for two years, but never really leaned into fully understanding the full platform. Um, so the intro plan is one of the best, in my, in my opinion, one of the best experiences to teach you all about Stride. Um, question here from Christoph is, hi, can you clarify how to use one of your Stride training plans that I see in the Stride calendar on a Garmin 645 uh, through an Android with the newest Stride app and Stride data field? Um, so for that, if you uh, we, we do have full, again, full walkthroughs on how to use any of these brand new features. If you um, go to the uh, stride.com slash support, we have full walkthroughs there. Garmin 645, you use the Stride app. You'll make sure your account is connected and you'll upload um, or have the workout specifically downloaded from your calendar, push to your Garmin, be able to run that in the Stride Workout app. Um, so question here, what about Polar right now? Uh, again, what we mentioned, um, you can specifically have Garmin Connect 3.0 watches and above, as well as Apple Watch in the Stride Workout, or the Stride app on Apple Watch to use these brand new features. Um, Eduardo says, how many runs should I have on Stride before critical power and running stress balance are accurate? So um, this is a great question, something we've talked about in the past couple webinars. Um, but when it comes to critical power, we typically look for three different varying types of intensity. And the Stride intro plan explains this in a great, fun, interactive way. Um, we typically look for, again, that very short, high intensity. We look for that medium duration, medium intensity, and longer duration, a little bit lower intensity. Uh, and for running stress balance, for it to be fully calibrated and have a full understanding uh, 42 days before the um, equation that we use, uh, so a, a 14 versus 42 day uh, or seven day versus 42 day relationship um, before that becomes uh, quote unquote accurate um, and starts to give you that, that great feedback as your running stress balance does change. Um, if you use the Stride app, does the run show up in Garmin Connect or does it only show up in Power Center? Uh, if you use the Stride app on your Garmin watch, it'll still absolutely go to Garmin Connect, whatever settings you have for your Garmin Connect account to push. Um, it'll absolutely continue doing that like normal. Um, and then it'll also come into Power Center. Uh, great question there. Uh, question, will the order of tags in the Stride app be allowed to be customized to allow most use options rather than first going through the full list? Yeah, I think this is a great idea. Um, we are really looking forward to, again, not only introducing these features today, but improving on all these features and taking any feedback that people might have. Um, we're really, really excited to, to do that and keep adding on. 
Um, let's see, should I be seeing this in Power Center in the mobile app now from Tony? Yes, Tony, go download the uh, latest uh, Stride mobile app in the other Google Play Store, the App Store on iOS, and then Power Center is live as well. Um, DJ says, I noticed the easy runs in the Stride training plans top out at 70% of critical power. Is that correct? Seems abnormally slow. Thoughts? Um, yeah, great question, uh, DJ. So typically when we are talking about percentages of critical power, we have these uh, zones that we might refer to, but we're also talking about a number, a percentage that is based off another number. So if you feel like your 70% of critical power is abnormally slow, it might be time to do a critical power test or a mid distance time trial, something like a 15 to 20 minute uh, time trial, something like a 5K um, to make sure that your critical power is correct. Um, another question here is, will the live videos be available for rewatching? Re Yes, absolutely. Um, so you can always find um, the, Stride, the, the Stride YouTube channel. Um, you can rewatch the videos in the Stride community on Facebook. And you can also, um, I believe, rewatch these on our, I, our, our Instagram TV page if you are watching on Instagram. Um, Brett asks, do you have a workout plan with no speed work? Tempo slash threshold uh, work tends to flare up my uh, plantar fasciitis. This is a great question. Um, like I mentioned before, we're really excited again to release this uh, feature release today. And we are so excited to keep improving on it in the future and take considerations from um, those who are giving us feedback. So we do appreciate that feedback. Brett, um, Tyrol asks, can I use the stride up with the treadmill to execute plan structure workouts with great adjustments? Um, so we don't have great adjustments for our plans, but yes, you absolutely can use the stride app. Um, and again, if you're recording on the treadmill, we do typically recommend um, using the indoor mode on specifically uh, the, the stride mobile app. Um, Imported workouts from Training Peaks. This question is from Chris. Wonderful, but are the intervals only time based or they can be distance based as well? So, Chris, right now we have uh, specifically time based. When we talk about power training, we typically talk about a power duration relationship. And so, uh, distance based, this is something that I uh, could be added to a, a training plan in the future. For right now, the specific workouts that we have in the stride uh, mobile app you specifically have time based you can design your own training plans and design your own workouts and training peaks final search and two peak and have those sent to the stride ecosystem as well um, the only new thing i'm seeing is the ability to add a training plan how do you compare different workout sessions or does that only work if the workouts were part of a plan this question's from john yeah john uh this is fantastic so the post run experience, uh, the post-run experience specifically um, to uh, compare the workouts that is from uh, specifically from having a planned workout in there. So yes, being able to reflect on that, that is specifically um, from having a planned workout in there as well. Um, so that's it. What I see for the questions. Let's see. Uh, question here from Instagram Live is from Javier. Can we get a percent of CP as a readout option for the Garmin data field? This is a great suggestion. Uh, I can definitely pass it on. It's something I think we've heard before a little bit, but it's definitely something um, that we can pass on. Uh, next question here from Ed is awesome job. Thank you so much. Is there a way in the future to sync my stride power metrics with Strava? I use a Garmin Phoenix 6, but no power information on Strava. Um, yeah, Ed, this is a, a, a great piece of um, uh, feedback and a, and a great question as well. So currently right now, um, if you use a Polar, a Sunto, the Stride Apple Watch, or a Koros with Stride, you'll specifically be able to see that Stride Power Metric with Garmin. Um, you will not be able to see that right now. Um, so that is a Strava limitation. We wish you could see it from Garmin. But if you use a Koros, Sunto, Polar, or the Apple Watch, you'll be able to see the Stride Power Metrics, the power specifically on Strava. Um, that is a, a great, great question. Um, do you want to turn to Instagram Live and say, if anybody is watching right now and you have any other questions, please feel free to send them our way. We're a little bit over uh, 30 minutes in here, and I believe wrapping up some of the uh, questions and answers. 
and I'm getting the sign from uh, producer Gus. That that's it for all the questions right now. Um, again, I want to highlight one more thing really quick, uh, specifically the upcoming schedule. We're going to go live again today um, in about five or six hours from now. And then tomorrow we're going to be talking about the watch experience uh, using Stride. Uh, we're going to be talking about the training experience on Thursday, the post run experience on Friday, and then next week, the intro to power plan the insight experience, analysis experience, and the trend experience, as well as the power duration experience. Um, so thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We really, really do appreciate it. That wraps it up for this um, brand new feature release. Thank you, everybody who tuned in on Instagram Live. We really do appreciate it. You can always find copies of these videos uh, on our Stride YouTube channel and the Facebook community, uh, the Stride community on Facebook, or now on our Instagram profile as well. We'll be back, like I said, again in, uh, in about five hours from now, five and a half hours from now, um, to talk through a day zero all the way through um, the end of a training plan and racing experience with Stride. Uh, that wraps it up for today, and we are really, really looking forward to um, bringing you more and more content about this great feature release. If you haven't already, please go download the latest Stride app, and if you have any questions, stride.com support is the 